Flutter's keyboard shortcut system works great out of the box, but also exposes plenty of controls for you to configure its behavior to your liking. The last episode covered the focus widget, which tells Flutter how to route keyboard events through your app on their hunt for a matching shortcuts widget. Which brings us to the shortcuts widget itself. Recall our accordion's hypothetical widget tree from the last episode. Find a widget where you want to watch for key press events and wrap it in a shortcuts widget. To make your shortcuts widget actually do something, supply the shortcuts parameter with a map of shortcut activators to intents. Shortcut activators are a helper class to capture specific keyboard combinations with optional meta key modifiers. Want to capture control C? Create a single activator, provide the key to watch for as a positional parameter, in this case, the C key, and set control to true. Put that activator in your shortcuts widget as a key and pair it with an intent. Intents are classes you make which extend the base intent class and describe the user's desired outcome. Flutter checks key press events against your activators, and once it finds a match, the intent you've specified will return to the active focus node to begin its own search for a way to fulfill the user's intent, which will take us to the actions widget in the next episode. For more info on Flutter, head to flutter.dev.